M0FXB, let's add a contact to our Hytera co-plug. So we've clicked DMR services here. I've noticed that when you click things down here, you get small little windows or, or tabs open at the top here, which makes it a bit easier. Anyway, so we've got contacts here. I'll just show you. You've got DMR services, then underneath that you've got contact. So if you right click, or we'll double click it, sorry, and then click add, you can add a new contact. So let's do one. Let's do uh, 2350. That's the name of it. And more importantly, the number here is 2350. So that's another contact. Contacts, all these contacts are basically talk groups uh, that you need to add into your channel. So the next thing is to find your uh, find your channel. So let's go back to the DMR section. Just look in here. Is that gone? Here it is. Here, digital channel. And there's, so if we click here, there's channels that we've already got. Now let's just show you how to add one. Just go right click, and click add. And you've got a fourth one there, but let's change the first one. We'll make it. Uh, we'll do it for our hotspot. So our hotspot is color code one, and it's slot two. And we're going to call it the channel alias. We're going to call it hotspot, and we're going to call it TG ninety one. Why not? Okay, so we're not going to do scan list. Scroll down. We want the frequency of our one so we'll go frequency is four three one dot five five zero and we can sort of copy that across like that because it's simplex and we're not going to bother with receive group lists what we are going to do is choose a contact so there's one there tg91 that i've created I, you saw me also create two three five oh but this is tg91 and we've named it Hotspot TG91. So when we use our Hotspot, it'll be it'll connect us to Talk Group 91, and we'll be able to talk. Power level low. Uh, I'm trying to think what else we got here. Everything else looks fine. Can't see anything else that I need to change there at the moment. Color code slot two. So that all looks good to me. So now we need to put this channel in a place where we're going to find it. So we need to go to zones now. Let's find zone. So we've got digital channels. We've got, ah, here's the zones here. So we've created two already. I'll just show you how I created these two. So we'll just go right click where it says zone and we'll click add. Now we've got one for our hotspot, one for our repeaters. Let's do this one. If we double click it and we'll call it up here, we'll call it digi repeater, digi repeat that there you go that'll do we've done that and then we want to add channel so hotspot here look we can add that in that's a digital repeater i think you need to have a minimum of of one in the channel so we can probably remove the one we don't want so look in digi repeater we've got hotspot 91 now in my repeaters we have got a channel there look but we haven't programmed that so look that's channel a3 so let's uh, let's let's do one of these ones. Let's do channel D two. So we put D two in there for now. And what we'll do, we'll double click D two, and we'll program an analog channel there. So we shall call it GB three WR, GB three WR. And we're going to go down. We don't want digital. We want it to be um, analog. So we might have to create a new channel because that may have been created as a digital channel so we'll go right click add um, no that's still saying D oh, of course look here it says digital channel so I've not used this before but I realize now that there's an analog section here so we're gonna we've got channels there so analog a for analog so my mistake but that's good so we've got digital channels at the top analog channels here so we'll double click channel a1 and we're going to call this one GB3WR. That's it. We've got channel spacing. We'll leave that. Timeout. We'll leave that. We want the frequency for WR. Oh, the al alias exists because I've already used it, haven't I? So we'll have to call it GB32. 
GB3WR2. There you go. And now we'll get the frequency in there. So it's 145.600. Send it across, but it's a repeat. Oh, out of range. So this is a 70 centimeter radio. So that's fine. We're going to do GB3FI. Uh, so it's 430.925. And then we'll change this to GB3FI. Everything else the same. We'll send that across. And then we're going to put the TX frequency here, which is 438. Dot, I think it's um, 425. It's a guess for now. Uh, but it's near enough. Then we need to get the CTSS in there. So type is CTCSS. And we want 94.8, actually. Probably 77 on that one. Same goes for here on the receive. 77. There you go. So I think that's everything else. We've got the timeout, the frequency. Yeah, everything else looks fine to me. Squelch mode normal. Yeah, all that looks good. So the channel's created. So we just want to put that channel in that zone. So my repeaters. And the channel is GB3FI. So go my repeaters. Look for GB3FI here. These are all channels that have been created. Click GB3FI and add it in. So now when we go to these zones here, so you turn your radio on, you go to zones. One will have hotspots in. One will have uh, FM repeaters in. And one will have digi repeaters in. And you can have several. And uh, just regarding the contacts that we that we made earlier, these are talk groups and you can add as many as you want. You just click add and you know common ones are, are like 2351 which is called chat 2 for example. Chat 2, actually that's chat 1 isn't it? So we'll 2352, get the number in there, 2352 and then add. See and then you can use that to create more channels. So I think that's pretty much got everything in for you. Uh, where it says basic you put in your DMR number um there are settings as well for other things and buttons one touch buttons another big settings menu here so have a good explore see what you think here i might as well put my call sign here where it says radio alias m0fxb here uh, so once you've done it all then just uh plug your yeah, download the usb driver uh plug your cable in and then right to radio and your Hytera co-plug is ready to go. 7-3, all the best.